going on, people? It's been a while since I've actually made a video, or it's been a while since I've uh, about a week or so since I've been fishing. But either way, I'm going to a uh, I'm gonna go meet up with my buddy Sam. We're gonna fish at his uh, private ponds, do a little freshwater fishing, and then we are going to do some night fishing again tonight. So it's been a long time since I've done some night fishing. So. Uh, looking forward to that and also looking forward to I got a new rod and uh, reel for Father's Day so I'm very excited to see how these perform and uh, I'll show you all that stuff once I get out there but uh, stay tuned hopefully I can catch some fish and may we'll make it a good night it's freaking warm right now it's uh, definitely over 100 degrees so hopefully later tonight it cools off just a tad bit so stay tuned I hope I can put some fish on the board for you guys all right guys we're out here at my buddy's uh, private little pond. I caught a few bass already that I didn't catch on camera. But uh, just trying it here with a uh... This is uh, my new rod I bought today. Oh, uh... there we go, guy. Another little small one. Oh, small, little small, large mouth. Alright, guys. Anyway, so I'm throwing my. I got for Father's Day a uh, Z slide, I believe it's called. This thing right here. It's my first style that I hooked up with. A little small one. These little. Oh, watch out, little thing. Anyways, so the disease slide is my first time using it. I paired it on a JH Custom Performance Rod and Immortal. It's a medium light, 6.9. Uh, oh, Jesus. 6.9 uh, length. nicer was that yeah throwing this little I don't even know what this is supposed to mimic dude what is it like a crawfish I'm assuming this I have yeah I guess <laughs> yeah. all right guys we're out here at the uh, night fishing spot um, I'm about to rig up the reels kind of show you guys what I'm using and uh, what lures I'm gonna be using I got a loose custom inshore on this one I believe this is the 7.3 uh, on a salinity a Waterloo it's a 6.6 six medium so uh, that's one of the rods I'll be using tonight and then this is the new one I just got this is the uh, concept Z slide so what I got Foss Day and I paired it with a uh, JH custom performance rod. It's a 6'9 medium light immortal. Pretty nice. It's a uh, red, silver, blue. So and then uh, this is actually the salt, I mean the freshwater lure I was using. But uh, I'm gonna change that out and uh, I'll show you guys what I have on there right before I start fishing. Alright guys, so on this uh First uh, JH rod that I was showing you just right now. I'm gonna throw the uh, the one eighth ounce knotty hooker. I love these jig heads. They're pretty uh, awesome jig heads. Ones that I always use. And I always pick these up in the same store. There's really there's a local store near me, uh, Anglers Anonymous, that and Katie. Man, they're a really great store. You guys need to go check them out if y'all haven't already. But uh, picked up this uh, Rapala Skitter Walk. Top water is all white. I'm gonna throw this one on here. So throw some top water and some soft plastics. So uh, I'm gonna rig these up and then uh, hopefully get the fishing. 
uh, I'll put links to everything and also to uh, A and A, which is I just call it A and A, but it's Anglers Anonymous, so y'all can uh, check out their website and stop by their store. Really good people. So uh, stay tuned, right, guys. So I'm gonna be throwing this. Uh, it is a Cricket Custom Lure. Uh, I think it's called the Rodeo Clown. It's supermodel size. Pick this up at AA as well. Um, you can order straight from Cricket Custom, I believe, also. So, but we're gonna throw this first. See how it goes. This is my first cast of the night right here. Let's see how it goes. It was cool uh, catching some bass earlier at my buddy's place. I actually caught several bass. I just didn't record all of them, but I probably caught a total of, I don't know, maybe six to seven bass. Maybe two to three in the one to two pound range. There you go, guys. Look at that already. Let's just dock flip them. Oh, there we go, guys. On the supermodel. Nice. I hope you don't tear my freaking lure up too much. But let's get them off and uh, let's turn this this way because I might put you down for a quick set player because I don't really want to touch them and get my hand all slimy because then I get all my freaking reel all slimy. So I'm going to try to grab them with these bogus right here if I can get this crap off. All right. Here we go. Chill out, let me get my hook out of here. I don't want you to turn up my whole little player. There we go. Check it out, guys. Uh, if I had to say, maybe right around 14, 15, I'll release them. All right, guys, so, uh, oh, tightened up my brake a little bit. I don't think I tightened it a little too much. I don't like the way it's going. I'm at the loosen it just a little bit all right guys i'm gonna throw this uh the rapala skitter walk all white color now let's see what happens on this one i to try to get a top bite on camera that'd be kind of cool see some uh, bait getting chased earlier on top but I don't know if, uh, if I'll be able to catch something on top all right guys so I haven't caught anything else except that one that I caught on camera earlier it's been uh, I've gotten one other little small bite I believe and that's been it there's a lot of lightning and thunder off in the distance though i mean i didn't think it was supposed to rain tonight so let's see how it goes how short of a night it's gonna be I mean, shoot i haven't even gotten too many one other bite besides the hookup so kind of a slow night so far there we go guys We'll flip them up. Might pass. We'll see here in a minute. There we go. Let me get the bogus in the pliers. Ah, oh, there we go, guys. Got one on board. Let's get this freaking hook out of him right here. Oh, let's put these back over here. And we got a measuring tape right here. Don't look big enough, but we'll give him a quick measurement. Uh, nah, he's probably gonna be about 16 and a half. So we'll let him go. I 
ride. All right, guys. Switch spots. Came to a different dock. See how we do here for a little while. I'll tell you what, that wind feels a lot cooler. That's crazy. I'm just gonna do a steady retrieve. See what happens on this. Oh, look, that was a little small bump right there. That was a nice little small bump. Let's see if we can get another one. Alright guys. I'm over here at this one little spot right up to where I was. God dang it. What the heck? Something pulled my lure off. Let me fix it here. Dang it. What's going on here? Something small is hitting me, but I ain't catching it, so. Oh man, there we go. Ooh, look at that. It's getting a lot of lightning and seems to be getting closer too, so. Ooh. I don't know if you guys saw that, Trout. So guys so I had to cut the video short yesterday uh, that lightning came in and started striking really close so I wasn't gonna play any games with that when I see lightning I'm out but yeah uh, had to cut it short I got out about 12 right on the dot is when the storm came through and packed up my stuff and got out of there and that video y'all saw right before this conclusion is uh, what I was what I drove through on the way home not all the way home but most of the way but Either way, it started off good. I caught a good maybe six, seven nice sized bass, one, two pounders at my buddy's uh, property, and then uh, went out to uh, do some night fishing, and I caught maybe two to three trout at the most. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'm putting links to all the gear I use for this particular fishing trip. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Later.